that was Michael Larson with Almighty God. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to what David has to say in Psalm 15, verse number 4. Now, he's been talking about, you know, who can, of course, dwell in your tabernacle, and who can live on your sacred hill. So what he's saying simply this is, again, he's listing some qualities that people should exhibit in their lives. Now, remember, James says that we, you know, you may say that you have faith, but you got to exhibit and demonstrate it in your life. He says, I'll show you my faith by how I live. Also as well, he's, David says, of course, when you are doing what God wants you to do, you're not going to like when people are evil or do bad things. Now, we, we need to understand something, and that is you need to separate people from what they do. Remember, not everything that people do is right you have to ask yourself this question, what's the motivation behind it? And also as well, he says, you need to be a person who honors the Lord. That simply means that in your life, your whole aim is to do the will of your Father. And a perfect example of that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He and his aim and goal was to do the will of his Father. And that's why he spent a lot of time in prayer, because he wanted to do the will of the Father. But today, we also have another wonderful tool in our toolbox when it comes to doing the will of God. We have the Bible. And also as well, he says simply this, someone who keeps an oath, even in when it hurts, and doesn't change their mind. That means that when you make a promise, you keep your promise. <laughs> you know, that is something, especially with members of our family, that we should do as well. But when you tell someone you're going to do something, back it up with what you, with actual action. Because you people lose respect for you when you don't keep your promises. And of course, we have a perfect example, and that is that the promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus Christ. That means when God makes a promise, he is going to back it up. And David says this, even if it hurts. <laughs> you know, sometimes some of the promises that we make to people, it's going to cost us something. And it may hurt us a little bit. But understand this, your word is absolutely something that people are relying on. And he says simply this, when you do these things, he says, you are demonstrating that you're a child of God, and also you're demonstrating that you are a believer and you follow through with what you say. So a little thought for you today from your friends at here at AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Your last-minute Zoom call may